these are some of the sights and sounds of Pennhurst, the state institution for the mentally retarded. It's located in Spring City, Chester County. In 1908, when the institution first opened, the man in charge bitterly complained to the state that the conditions were already overcrowded. He transferred many of the patients to Q1, a classroom building. Many of them are still there. children are afforded the opportunity to go on a picnic and bask in the sun. Others lie awake in their beds, shackled like prisoners, punished because they cannot control themselves and their illness. How else do you deal with patients that are hyperactive? Uh, I have given some of them uh, intravenous pentobarbital sodium on occasion, otherwise they would do harm to themselves and others. In other words, you drug them. Absolutely. Social indifference stresses the hangover of 19th century philosophy, which condemns the mentally retarded to a bare existence in facilities like Penhurst. These children can be helped, and they are depending on society to care enough about them. been ignored, forgotten, and pushed out of our minds much too long. In some cases, their feeling of being abandoned has stunned their progress. Others have just become more bitter. It's not right. We just can't look ourselves in the mirror when you know what goes on in some of these institutions. It's shameful, because this rich country, this great country, can afford to take care of the least of these. sickening and almost unviewable condition to the institution is largely due to overcrowding and the lack of personnel to provide elementary care. In many cases, children churn in their own filth for only one reason, lack of assistance. The ones that speak detest the inhumane conditions and hunger for the slightest sign of affection.
Suffer children to come to me and forbid them not, for of such 